Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about method overriding in java programming so guys previously we have learned about inheritance which is an object oriented programming property that allows us to derive a new class that is called as a subclass from an existing class which is also called as a superclass so guys this is a parent child relationship that we have already discussed in the previous video as well in which case the new class that is a child class will also gain all the attributes and all the methods of the parent class as well while we are inheriting using the extends keyword now guys the subclass inherits the attributes and methods of the superclass now let's say for example if we have the same method name that is defined in both that is super class and the sub class then how the program flow will occur how the control flow will come to know that which method is to be used with a particular class object so over here as you can see then the method of the sub class overrides the method of the super class so guys over here what it is saying is let's say if we have two methods that is one is in parent class and another one is in child class and we are using the object of a child class then guys it is going to use that is a child object is going to use the child's class method and that is what we are going to see with the help of example over here so guys previously we have seen that we created a parent class that is animal and then we had the string name and we had the string variable that is the name of the animal and we also had a method that is display name which is going to display the name of the animal now guys over here method overriding what it says is let's say in the child class so as you can see we have another class that is dog which is extending this animal class that is parent class so over here this is the parent class and over here this is a child class now inside this child class if we have the same method name so i'll just copy this and paste this over here so as you can see we have display name in the animal class over here we also have display name in the child class over here so guys the content of this display name i'll just modify it to something else so let's say we have name of dog is and then we have the name so this name is going to refer to this string name which is getting extended to this dog class using this extends keyword followed by the parent class name so guys over here we have two methods display name and display name but the content is different over here we have name of animal is and then we have name and the name of dog is and then we have name so guys over here in the main method what we are trying to do is let's say we create the object of a child class that is a dog class we have the dog object followed by the new operator and then the dog class and then guys let's say we set the name as puppy and now what we are doing is dog object dot display name now guys there are two display names over here one is of the parent class and one is of the child class so which method will be displayed so previously we had seen if there was no such method over here in the child class so i'll just comment out this line over here i'll just save this and try running this code so as we can see name of animal is puppy so over here this display name that is the method of this parent class is being called but what if we have another display name in the child class so over here i'll just remove these comments so as we can see we also have a display name of the child class on its own and it is having name of dog is and then the string variable that is name so guys we are not going to change any code over here i am just going to call the display name using this dog object so i'll just save this file and try running this code so guys as we can see name of dog is puppy so over here this line is getting printed that is name of dog is puppy and this method that is a display name of the class object is getting printed so guys this is called method overriding even though we have the display name of the parent class inside this class behind the scenes still it is going to use the display name of this child class in order to print some statement or whether it is arithmetic operation or any kind of block of code you can execute so guys this method overriding becomes very important whenever we are having a child class which extends a parent class and we want the child class to implement the method on its own so it is going to have different set of strings or some other kind of manipulations as well so during that time we use the method overriding now guys what if the object that we created is of the parent class in that case which method will be used so guys let us check this with the help of example so over here what i'm going to do is instead of the dog class we are going to have the animal class which is a parent class and then we have animal object over here followed by equal to new animal and then 
over here what we are going to do is first of all we are going to set the name of the animal so let's say animal object dot name it is equal to let's say we have cat as the animal and then what we are going to do is we are just going to use the display name method so over here we have animal object dot display name so first we have set the name and then next we are going to display the name using this display method so guys over here what do you think will be the output so we are using this object that is the class animals object over here and we are using its own display name so probably this string should get executed that's because this parent class is an independent class of its own the dog class is not having any role over here since we are using the animals object over here as we can see the animal class is being used in order to create this object so let me just save this file and try running this code so as we can see name of animal is cat so over here name of animal is so this string is getting printed on the other hand as we had seen previously instead of this animal class let's say we have the dog class over here and then over here as well we will use the dog class we will keep the object name as same so i'll just save this file and try running this code so over here we are using the child class so this class that is dog so this thing is getting printed that is name of dog is cat so guys this doesn't make any sense actually the name of dog is cat but still i hope you have understood the functionality of method overriding and where it can be used whenever we are inheriting any child class from the parent class so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is super keyword in java programming so stay tuned